Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Google Voice. And if you've never heard of Google Voice before, basically it's a service from Google that gives you an additional phone number. So you could receive calls on your phone, for example, on your iPhone or Android phone, with another number and you could make calls with that number and receive text is really, really useful. You could use it for personal reasons just to have another phone number. So you could use that for many, many things. Or I use it for business as well. So one of my businesses has a phone number that's Google voice number, but I get phone calls right on my phone. In fact, one of my employees gets a call at the same time as me. So whoever picks up first, gets to answer that call. It's really, really unique and useful. And I'll tell you more about it here once we sign up, but if you go to voice.google.com, you could sign up over here. And as you could see, there is a personal use option and there is a business use option. Now the personal one is free. The business one does charge you monthly. Okay, you could go ahead and try that depending on your need. And again, it's just voice calling for all your devices. You could use it here on the web, you could use it on your Android phones or your iPhone. So if I press for personal use, you could see these are the th three different ways I could sign up. Now I'm gonna sign up with the app. They have an Android app and an iOS app. If you press web, it will ask you to sign into a Google account. Now this is just a regular Google account. So if you have YouTube or if you have Gmail, you already have this. So you would type in your email here to sign up for that or to sign in. If you don't have a Google account for some reason, go ahead and create one right here. You do need this because it will associate the number with this account. Now I'm gonna use the app. So you could look in your Android or your iPhone in the App Store or the Google Play Store for Google Voice and go ahead and download and install it. The setup process, if you do it on the web or the phone, is pretty much the same. So it doesn't matter, you could follow along whichever way you go about it. I just like it on my phone better because I use it on my phone more than I'll use it on the computer. And once you open the Google Voice app, this should be the first page you will see and it's going to most likely ask you to log into your Google account. And it already recognized my Google account on the bottom, but if it did not, you could actually go ahead and add one there if you didn't have one here. So if you press this little up arrow here, you see add another account, you could just go ahead and press that or add the first account. I'm gonna go ahead and press continue and then I'll get to this page and this page it says, look for an available number with your area code. Now this completely depends on where you are and your region, okay, and if it's available for you. And I do wanna mention this part, it is important that you have another phone or a landline because it is going to call you to verify your identity here with an automated message. If you don't have that, it can't verify you. So it doesn't want everybody to sign up for one of these as their primary number. It wants this to be used as a business line or a second personal number. And it also tells you to pick a number that's available in your area code. That's another benefit. You could pick a number with your area code. So it looks like your number almost here with the same area code if you're in the US. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press search on the bottom and I'm gonna search my area. So Chicago is near me, Chicago, Illinois is near me. Let me go ahead and search. And there we go, and I could see all these numbers available here for me. Okay, so these are the area codes that I could choose, and these are all the numbers that I could choose from. So I could look at them, they're all different. I could select one, I'll just select this one on top. And this is going to be my phone number now associated with that account. Now, to use this Google Voice, I do need to verify. So I'll press next and it's going to verify my phone number. So I'll press next again. And I have to type in my actual cell phone number here to verify or if I had a landline, I could go ahead and press verify by phone here towards the bottom. So I'll type in my number here and press send for code. And there's the code, I'll type that in and it's going to verify it here. And I could just press finish, everything is set up. And here we are. Now, let me show you quickly what you're looking at within the app. And then I will show you at the end what the website looks like too, if you make calls from the web, you could also do that. So on the bottom, you have your calls, you have your contacts, you have your text messages, and you have your voicemail. Now, let me click on a voicemail to show you. By default, Google Voice actually transcribes your voicemails in text. So this is super, super useful. It will record the audio. So this 18 second welcome message I could press play on. I could press the three dots to copy the transcript, copy the number, block that call, mark it as spam or delete it. 
This voicemail option is one of my favorites within this app. But the transcript too is really, really cool because you could just go ahead and copy and paste that transcript and send it to someone as an email or message. Very, very cool here. Let me go back outside of this voicemail page to the phone call page. This is where you make phone calls and receive phone calls will show up over here too. So to make a phone call, press the dial pad. Now the process is a little bit different on Android and iOS, but it's just the layout of the app. Everything else should be the same. Type in the number you want to call here and press the phone icon and it will make that call. It's that simple to make calls here. It works just like your phone. Okay, that will work the same way. When you receive calls too, it will forward it to your phone number. So as long as you have the app here with your phone number associated with it, your phone will ring. But I'll show you some settings in a second. Text message works the same way. If you go to messages and press the pencil icon, it's going to pull up your phone contacts. If you attach your phone contacts here, which I give it permission, you would just go ahead and search for someone or select them and then send them a text message. So I selected someone on top. I could type my text message and I could attach a picture if I want to or take a picture. Those are the icons next to it. And I'll just press send. And just like that, it's sending that message. Anytime inside of this chat too, I could press the phone icon to start a phone call or I could press the three dots here to see more options available to me as well. I already showed you the voicemail, which is the last option. So now let's look on top. There's a couple of useful options here. You could search Google Voice with specific words here and it will look through your transcript and everything else available for search. Again, Google is powerful search in all their apps. Then you have your profile icon on the top, press that. And here you could add another account or manage your Google account. This is just useful to have to know which account, your Gmail account you signed up with or your Google account. On the left side, the three lines, let me show you those. Your archive messages will show here. Your spam messages will show here. And credit, basically if you're making international calls that are not free with Google Voice, you will have to buy actual credits here which you can using these methods here and add to your balance. And let me go to settings because there's some important things you should know here. It's gonna show your phone number right on top. It's gonna to show devices and numbers here, your other devices you connected with. It's gonna show you if you wanna forward messages to a specific email. Now, these are important. Make and receive calls, use carrier only. This is gonna use your actual cell phone to make these calls. Incoming calls, choose who could see and answer these calls. You could actually change that setting here. So you could see I could receive calls on my iPhone here or on the web. So I could turn those off, one of them. Call screening is turned on. So it will show you the caller's name and voicemail message. And your email alerts for missed calls. All those could be turned on here. And you have some options on the bottom like do not disturb. You could turn that on if it's after business hours. My voicemails will go directly to my email with the transcribed voice, so I could turn that on and off. And on the bottom, I usually turn this on filter spam to help me receive less spam calls, especially if this number gets out there as a business line. Sometimes that becomes a bit of a problem. And let me quickly just show you the web version of this at voice.google.com. Now that you have an account and you sign in, you could go ahead and make calls from there or just look at your voicemails on the web and that website. Okay, let me show you that. Here is the website, again, voice.google.com. I logged in the same account I just made that phone call with. Again, it's the same number I have here. And you have the same options on the left. You have calls, you have messages for text messages, and you have voicemail, the three that we looked at there. And you have these three lines again, if you wanna expand this out and look at your archive and spam. Your setting is on this side, so if you wanna make any changes to your setting, go ahead and do that here. You could see it's all organized into categories for you. We went through some of the important stuff there. And to make calls, you just use this dial pad here to go ahead and make calls, or you could go to the messages option here and then send a new message over here using this option, okay? And all your messages, text messages will show up over here. You'll click on any of them, they'll open up on this side. And that's the brief overview of setting up Google Voice on any device that you like, from the web to Android to iPhone devices, and they will all communicate under the same account. And you could receive and make phone calls on any device now with a second number. Really, really useful, especially when it transcribes the voicemails to you, emails them to you automatically. So take a look at some of the settings, look at some more advanced options that are available to you there, where multiple people could receive the same call on their mobile phones with the same phone number. Really, really powerful, especially for business. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech videos, and I'll see you next time.